Hey guys, it's Tiff and I have a layout I want to work on with you guys today. I'm going to be using the Cartabella Wildflower Collection. It's a little bit older collection, but I've had it for a while and I haven't really used it. So I wanted to pull it out and um, start using it a little bit. So I just have this as my background paper. The other side are these cut aparts and I know some of you are like, are you nuts? But I honestly, there's about two on here that I really care about. So I was, you know, I just had to make a decision. I really love this as a background. So I did go ahead and outline this background and all of my layers with the Zig Millennium pen. So just FYI, if you see blue stitching like stuff, that's what it is. Um, so next I'm just going to go ahead and get an idea of where my layers are going to go. I want them kind of nestled in this wood here and then I'm going to do some misting and I want an orangey color because I'm going to use this sequence paper. Um, but I can't, I don't know if I want to use coral or Georgia peach. So I'm going to mix them both. And I'm going to start with the coral. That's my new one. And see if that gives me the color that I want. And actually, it kind of does. It, it's deeper than I thought it would be. And I don't know if it's just on this paper or what. But um, I, I kind of thought, um, I heard the blush was really light. And I thought I had heard the same thing about coral, but. This seems to be doing okay. Hang on one second, guys. My, Of course, you think your heat gun's plugged in when you get ready to start, and it's not. So, I'm going to plug that in. I just want to heat it up a little bit because I'm about to do some splatters over top of it as well. The cool thing about this part of Bella paper, is it dries a lot faster, I find, than some of my other pattern papers. So then, just giving this a little shake here. That probably made you dizzy, huh? But uh, it's the mint green Heidi Swap mist. And, ooh, mine is really thick all of a sudden. I hadn't used it in a while, so bear with me. Just going to go on the usual um, kind of diagonal here. It's going to be a little bit of a wild diagonal. Just a little, went off a little bit here. And then I also have my more used up gold lame. And going to do that also. All right. Let me put these away. It's going to start to dry. But we're going to give it a little bit of a... If you're wondering why I'm doing the back side, you're not familiar with the heat gun, it tends to curl your paper. And I'm not too concerned if it curls it a little bit, because when you put it in your page protector, it's going to lay down flat anyways. Um, but I do want it to somewhat be. Um, so now we're going to add, start adding our layers like this. So this is a pretty feather paper and it kind of goes ombre from light to dark. Um, so I wanted to add that. And then this is my sequence paper. Of that paper. It's really pretty. Then I wanted to pull in another neutral. This pink I'm kind of using as a neutral-ish color. And my outlining on this mint piece got a little wonky. 
but it's not going to matter so much because I'm going to have some stuff going on right here, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. And then this is the back side of that. It's this really cool graphic type pattern, but I'm just using the smallest amount of it. Then I have a Maggie Holmes overlay from CAJ Summer. Um, so not the new one. I haven't gotten any new stuff, guys. It's, it's really bugging me, but... Um, I'm trying to be cool. <laughs> we got a lot of other stuff going on right now, so I'm trying to take it easy. Um, I can tell you this. Um, there's a lot of stuff I want. And I did just order some stuff from Vanessa, who's 77 Butterfly I Love. She had a challenge this weekend, and to be honest with you, you already have my cart full, so... She offered free shipping on 50 and under, and usually at 77 in her store. Plus, um, she was doing kind of like a giveaway. Anyways, I'm using this washi tape from Michaels. It kind of matches this collection really well. I'm just going to use it to ground my embellishments that I'm going to do here and here. So anyways, back to Vanessa. She had that going on this weekend, so I went ahead and did place my order for the things that I already had kind of going on in my cart. So then I have some feathers from this collection from the sticker sheet. And I'm going to stick them in the layers here. Kind of like that. I'm going to put just one up here for now. There will be more. No worries. Alright. Then I have this sticker that says, what a good thing. And then I have this one that says, you mean the world to me. And I'm going to use this one for sure. I think I'm going to use this up here. Just kind of playing a little bit, you know. I also had some flowers I wanted to put in there. We'll see if we can make this work. I'm actually going to cut it up. Because I don't want to use the whole flower. Set. Just a peak of it. Just a hint. So I'm cutting this memories collected out. I Probably I'm going to pitch it because I don't think I don't like these banner things. I don't know how you guys feel about them, but It's just not really for me I don't know about that one leaf. It's so big It's kind of counterproductive to what I'm trying to do if you will I'm going to do that for now I'm going to be adding these wood veneers. They're feathers too, as you can see. And I've inked them up already in Inca Gold Gold Mist. Um, sorry, guys. Just trying to decide where I want that one. And I love them. Let me. I'm going to pop this if I can get it off of here. Without ripping my layout. I want that to lay there. So I have these pop dots. And they're really difficult to pop the dots out. So I've just been cutting squares out of it. Or rectangles. Whatever shape I need at the moment. And just using that because it really frustrates me to try to fuss with this. It's just not worth it. I mean, on a card it might be worth it, but on a layout, it doesn't really matter, right? So, there we go. All 
All right. Now, ah, you know what? I forgot something. I forgot my doilies. I wonder, can I sneak them in here still? I'm sorry, guys. I am so out of practice, especially in regards to videos, because I have honestly, on my channel, if you've noticed, I think a lot of you have, but um, I just haven't been doing a whole lot of crafting, and what you've seen is what I've done. So if you haven't seen a whole lot of crafting, then I haven't done a whole lot of crafting. Just broke the stick of this off. So, which means I haven't been making videos either. You know, you, you get what I'm saying. I'm just really... Gotta kind of get back in the swing of things here. Because I do miss it. And I miss you guys. I think I mentioned that in my last video. In Sandra's challenge video, anyhow. Wasn't that challenge so fun? I feel like we got to know each other a lot better. Yep, yep, yep. I like it. Okay. <laughs> Yepping myself. So, I think I'm not going to add those. I do have this Love This veneer, too, that I wanted to use. I think I'll use it right there. And then I added a circular element there. I know you're, what you're thinking. You're like, ooh, she's only got two clusters. I know, I'm breaking my own, my own style here. But because of the misting and stuff, and then I'm going to do my journaling up here, I didn't want to add too much. So then I have this flare. And my apologies to whoever made it. I don't remember where I got it from. I honestly think it's an Ormolu one that I ordered from an online, a person off the scrapyard quite a while ago mm -hmm. that I won't order from anymore. You remember that conversation? Yeah. So anyways, that's that. And then this says good things are happening, which I really like. But the word good's up there, so I definitely want to add it here, I think. But I don't want to get too many words in one spot, you know? Quit overthinking it, too. That's what I have to tell myself sometimes. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. I do like that camera. Is it going to work up there, though? What do you guys think? I don't think so. I think we're going to have to pull it down here. Yeah, that's better. I want to bring some of this peach up here, though. Let's pull it. Oh, rip my doily. Good thing my intent was to cover it up anyways. I want to bring some of this peachy color up here. Like that. That looks good. I really like layering things up like that so so this is me and Jess in case you guys aren't familiar with my channel or with Jess um, I could add just a teeny bit more washi here um she is our nanny uh, also my brother's love interest <laughs> and uh we spend a lot of time together because she watches my son every afternoon. Plus, we just really, we click and we get along very well. Um, so it's just kind of natural and we just spend a lot of time together. So it works out good for everybody involved. I was trying to decide if I want to use one of these Heidi Swap guys here because I bought all these and I haven't used any of them. I don't know if I want to do selfie or good stuff. I have good like twice already on this layout though. I mean, would that be overkill? No, I like it though. So I'm going to go with it. And I like that these, even though I would call this teal, 
it matches the mint green mist. Okay. So, I'm just peeling this off if you guys are wondering what I'm doing while we're chatting. Um, so, I like that continuity. And I want it to be... I know the cool thing about these is that you can kind of make them into whatever shape you want. But I do want this one to be kind of straight because of the arrow. And I think I'll use a hashtag because I don't use hashtags that much. I think it just adds a fun element. Yes, I like that. It's like a little bit of glitter on this one. So, that's not my blue marker. I'm going to pull out a blue marker and do our journaling now. So I like how that links down, but then I kind of don't have anything that links down here. So I had pulled out this stamp um, from Target, the Valentine's one. And I'm going to ink up the sentiment, which apparently I'm going to have to do some cleanup on because it inks up kind of nasty. If I can find out what I did with my wipey. I guess I'll get a new one. I had one out. Um, because when I was doing my Inca Gold stuff, I did that off camera to try to save a little time for you guys. Anyways, I'm just cleaning up my stamp here. I try not to press so hard. But it just says love you lots. So I'm just going to do a trail of that off the edge. Um, of the layout. And I really like how that looks. Because it kind of looks, I mean it doesn't look like my handwriting, but it's kind of the same idea. Sorry that one edge is curling. It's about to drive me crazy. But when I put it in the album it won't matter. So that'll be okay. Then last step is our sequins. And as most of you know, I have too many. <laughs> I don't know how else to kind of say that, but I want to bring in some purple with this because um, there is a little bit of purple in the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? In the pattern paper, and I'm just laying some out so they're ready to go. Gold. And then I'm just looking through my sequins if you're wondering what I'm doing. I was trying to see if I have, yes, I do have kind of this peachy color, and that's the other ones that I want to use. Okay, and they're flat, which I really like. I'm starting to really get into those, so I'm gonna try. I haven't used this in a while. Nope. I don't have patience for it. I keep a little box of glue here, if you're wondering what I'm looking in. 
um, let's see. So, I'm going to pull these off to the side. I kind of like... want to put a little bit of glue right here and do that clustery look like that like it's falling out of the embellishment yes and then put three more little dots I hope you guys can see this I'm just going to put these guys down and one more gold okay so the idea I had is that it looks like it come is coming off of the sequin paper if you will if you guys hold on one second you can see that and I like how that looks I've seen some other people, Sandra, and let me glue this. Just gonna use regular liquid glue because that's what I have right here um, to glue this down because it's not staying. And I definitely don't want this sitting in my album with that hole in my doily exposed. All right, there we go. So now I've got to figure out though where I'm going to cluster these at, I think right here. And this time I'm going to include a um, peachy colored one as well as all the other ones. kind of got too much glue but luckily that doily is there to catch it so and then we're gonna do some more so let's do this one up here ah I lost my glue spot And I want them to get a little closer as they're closer to, um, i to put another one down here. As I get closer to this cluster, if you will. So we're going to put these two right next to each other. Okay, guys, and that is my completed layout. I hope you guys enjoyed um, going through this process with me. I'm trying to like, see a little bit more of it. Um, and I really, really love how this turned out. I think it'll make a great addition to my album, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!